Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is actually going to be my last hair dyeing video that I'm probably gonna post for a really long time because I am going to be dyeing like 80% of my hair brown in this video and bleaching the other 20% to keep it white. I guess people call this kind of like the skunk hair or like I've heard people call it Narcissa Malfoy hair or whatever. Um, I had it last summer and I really liked it and I want something a little darker for the fall and I'm also just guys having blonde hair is crazy upkeep even if you do dye it fun colors like I have been the upkeep is kind of insane and I am ready to have something a little bit more low maintenance so that's what I'm doing this video um, I've done so many colors over the last year which has been super fun and exciting but I really don't want to have to pay for damages in my college dorm when I'm leaving literally in a couple days um, so I'd rather avoid that by just putting a permanent color on my hair. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I hope you guys enjoy watching. All the products will be in the description in case you miss what they are. But in this one, I'm just using 20 volume bleach, um, to start bleaching this really grown out roots that I have. Hey guys, so I just want to do an update. It's the morning after my first round of bleach yesterday. Um, and my hair was honestly kind of fried. My roots are like, <laughs> they're really long. And I think that's why it was so challenging for me. I've never had to bleach my roots when they're this long. I've, I've been bleaching my roots for like every seven weeks for like the last year. So that was the first time I've like done that long of a break. And I just think I wasn't prepared to handle all the banding and everything that came with that. I am just gonna give it a break for a little while before I, per before I proceed. But this morning I just washed it and conditioned it cause it definitely needed a little bit of moisture. For starters, these little side sections that were already blonde, they're honestly fine. They're ready for toner in my opinion. They are, that that's light enough that's what I was hoping to get everything else to was like that pale blonde color we have a couple different color situations happening so like I said these little side chunks they're all right but with everything else going on back here I do have some pieces that went where I wanted them especially like in the middle um but then I still have this like yellow banding happening especially on these like side pieces. And then there was a little bit of bleach overlap. So there's like these white strands that meet in between the purple color and the orange. There's a lot, there's, there's some work to do. I think it's salvageable, but if, if I come to learn that it is not, like I said, I'll just be dying most of it brown and just leaving the parts that actually did lighten enough white. You can't even see what I'm doing in this, but basically I just mixed the same solution with a little bit of shampoo and was reapplying it to all the yellow bits, trying to kick out those tones so that I'd be ready to do the brown next on the rest of the hair. 
And so that's what you're seeing me do here. So I only left this on for about 30 minutes because I was really nervous about breakage because as you can see I've got that really pale band now from doing the bleaching twice on the roots but overall it looks way way better and yeah I'm happy with it. Hey guys! So, um, today is the day after bleaching. I have my hair up because here's the thing. Um, there is still some darker yellow banding sort of like where the brown and the white meet. However, the part that I was most concerned about is the part that's visible when my hair is up. And um, that looks much better than it did before. It's much more like a yellow tone, which I know I can get rid of with a good toner. And yeah, so that's where we're at. It's definitely better, especially, like considering it's just like straight bleached, there's nothing else on it right now, except it, I just bleached it and washed it, so. We're looking pretty good. I ordered everything I need to do the brown and the toning and yeah, that's where we're at. Okay guys, so this was the moment of truth. I was really nervous about this, I won't lie, because going from blonde to brown has a lot more steps than people realize. So when you bleach your hair and you tone it, you take out all of those pigments that are naturally occurring in brown hair, which for me, I'm naturally a light brown, dark blonde, so the undertone of my hair is like an orangey color. So what I decided to do in this case was mix a warm brown protein filler with a red protein filler, which I just got both of these from Sally Beauty. Um, and I mixed those together and it made more of a copper shade, which I think was really good to keep all of my hair the same color when I washed out the actual brown dye. I feel that if I had gone for like the straight up red protein filler, it would have been a very reddish brown. So if you're going to do a darker brown than I do in this video, then you should probably just go with the red like straight up. But for my needs, I decided that it would be best to do a more orangey color. So you can see me applying it here. It was really liquidy, so that was kind of annoying, and it did froth up a little bit, but the application went pretty smooth. So I then applied Ion's permanent cream color in shade 5N, which is just a neutral light brown, and I mix that with 10 volume developer. Um, and y'all, when I say that this stuff stank, like it smelled so bad. And I'm saying that as someone that has used multiple different bleaches, box dyes from Walgreens, like that stuff smelled so bad. But anyway, I just went ahead and started applying it to the ends first because that's the part that I'm most concerned about. And then I went through and did all the roots, trying to avoid the parts I wanted to keep blonde. And after I applied this, I let it sit for about 20 minutes before I mixed my toner for the white. And I actually processed, processed these at the same time because you can do that as long as you rinse them out separately. So that's what I did. So here's everything on my head after applying the toner. I mixed T28 and T18 to do this because T18 is for a level 10 and T28 is for a level 9. And as you can see, I did have a lot of yellow tones. So I mixed them together to try to kick more of those and it actually worked out great. And now for the big reveal. Look at that. It turned out literally better than I could have ever imagined. It's definitely darker than I pictured. I don't know if I would call this light brown. Um, so be aware of that if you buy this dye. All the products will be in the description. Um, definitely not light brown to me. I always feel like my hair, my natural hair color is more of a light brown. But it's still really pretty and I kind of love how dark it is. I'm not used to that at all. And the toner worked amazingly on those yellow patches. It looks so good up. And I literally couldn't be happier with it. I'm so excited that this is my new hair from now on. 
And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I hope this was helpful if you're trying to do anything similar. And I'm really looking forward to posting more stuff about my actual artwork now. No more hair videos, but um, yeah, you can like and subscribe if you liked the videos. And I'll see you guys next time.